What's going on? It's Kev Obato, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing off that theme editor that I talked about a video ago. Now, look here. I'm going to show you a walkthrough on how to use it, and I'm going to show off some of the themes that I made. Actually, let's do that in reverse. I'm going to show off some of the themes I made first, and then we'll move on. But you know me, let's not waste any more time, and let's get right into the video. All right, so over here in their Discord, if we go down to Hyperbat theme, they, I don't, <laughs> do not, I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna go to one that says Kevobato. And if you go here, you can download any of these themes. These were just more of a proof of concept, but you can see these were the themes I made. Now, later on in the video, I'll show you those in real action because they have animations and they have video plan. Let's go ahead and open up the theme editor and I'm just gonna show you from scratch how to make a theme. Then I'm gonna show you where you can put these files here to activate the you know per game theme. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the link in the description. I, I realized in the last video I didn't leave the links, but I will leave the links in the description so that you can get specifically to this Discord it's not happy. Okay, there it goes. You can specifically get to this Discord and you can go in and download the theme editor slash creator app. In here, we're going to go in and if this is closed like this, you need to pop it open and you're going to go to theme back creator tools. Then you're going to go to this link here. Uh, it's also, it should be pinned. Yeah, it's pinned. So, but you can go to this link here. Before we even do that, shout out to this guy. I'm almost certain that he made this application that I'm showing off today. So shout out to him. All right, now we're gonna go back to here. Now what he's done is he's made it easy. Now you can just download this right here, this theme bat full RAR. So we'll go ahead and download that. Download anyways. I'm saving it to the desktop. I'll speed this up so you don't have to wait. All right, now that it's done downloading, we're gonna go in and we're gonna extract it. I've done all of this on my desktop, so, and it's a little jank, but here is the unzipped file, or, and you can just load any of these. This is gonna be the English, this is gonna be 720p, and this is gonna be the regular. So, you're gonna go ahead and load this one here. In here, the first thing you're gonna do is go up to this furthest left button, and you're going to go to the second to last option. And you're going to go to the third tab. And you're going to click the second option. And that is English. <laughs> so it's the reason why I haven't been saying what the tab names were. Because for me, they weren't in English. So it wouldn't have mattered anyways. So we're going to switch that to English. You're going to click apply and restart. That's this button here. When you click that, you're going to click this button here. This is the yes button. <laughs> so click this and that's going to give you mostly English. That's going to be the first thing that you do when you open this theme editor. Now we're not going to waste any time. We're just going to jump right into it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add background. We're going to go into my downloads. Let's do this open. So now I've got the background. I'm going to grab this corner, drag it to fit the screen. All right. Extra big and it fits. Now I've got my background set. So for this, this is where you can get creative. Now, if you go up here, you can click add. This opens up a video box. This video box is where the scraped video will play. So wherever you place this, that's where it's gonna play. Now, this is a DS game, so it gives me the perfect example to show you how to alter the, the size of the video. So you can go in here and you can click this. It's just, I can read this. This is personalized. So the, for the width, I'm going to do 480. And for the height, I'm going to do 720. The reason I'm doing that is because this is a DS game. And so I want these sort of dimensions. We're going to put it about here because we're going to do some layering. And that's going to give me the option to show you the layers here. So the one on the top is the furthest back. That's the background. So 
The further you go down, that's moving forward to the, towards the front. I'll show you now by adding another image. So let's add a new image. So now that I've got this, we'll leave that there. Let's go to add an image. Boom, we've got a DS. We wanna bring this down to size. I told you these are in order. So this is on top, you know, first, second, third, fourth. This is last, and that's why everything else is sitting on top of it. So I'm gonna move this rectangle forward. We're gonna adjust the size to fit the DS screen. That's about right. So now I'm gonna send it back to the back behind the DS. Now we're gonna bring this to the front. That's this here. And now I'm just gonna line it up with the old one. Boom. Now you see that sitting over that real nice like, and I'm almost done. Now what we'll do is we'll go in, we'll add another image. We've got these guys here. And we're gonna drop them, boom. Something about like that. See, that's fire. You can't tell me that's not fire. So, so we've kind of went over most of it, but a couple other things that we're gonna go through are animations. Now, very quickly, everything I've been showing you has been for the game view. If you wanna switch to system view, if you wanna change the entire system or collection theme, then you can go to system. For now, we're gonna stay on game because I'm working on custom game themes. And again, I'll show you them in action soon. Back to animations. Now, from my understanding, a lot of this stuff will finish being translated by the time you see this video. If not, you can just mess around with these. I'm not gonna do that today. Um, the main one that I'm gonna use is this bump. So we're gonna click on that. We're gonna click bump, arrive bump, apply. Now it's not gonna do anything here. So you're just gonna have to trust me and wait. But we're gonna go to the second image that we added and we're gonna go bump, arrive, apply. Boom, now we've got two animations. Now, but what I like to do, and I don't know if it's necessary, but I like to go down to the theme name and I'm gonna go ahead and name it what it should be. Pokemon Ranger, Shadows of Almia. Boom, so I've done that. And now I can go in here and I can click save and then we can save this project. So that's gonna be in a JSON format. And now I can open that up anytime I want if I close out of this and edit this theme. Now that I've showed you how to add video, now that I've showed you how the layers work and how to add animations, I've showed you how to switch from system to game, I've showed you how to change the language, we're gonna go ahead and generate theme. Once you go to export or generate the theme, let's go to desktop, right click, new folder. And this needs to be named the same thing that the game is named. That's the only way it's gonna be able to register. And then what I'm even gonna do is, I'm gonna go check and see what the name of the game is, just so I don't get it messed up. Boom, it's right here. So we're just gonna to go to rename and we're gonna copy that. <laughs> so you're gonna to wanna to name that folder the same name as your game. So you see I'm adding in here the name of the game, we're gonna go inside of it, and we're gonna click save. We're done. You officially made your first theme. We're gonna exit out of this. Do I really wanna exit? Yes, I do. All right, back on my desktop, I now have my folder with the theme in it. All I've gotta do, if you're on Retrobat, you're gonna to go to your file manager. You're gonna to go to wherever your Retrobat folder is. Then you're gonna go into Emulation Station, then you're gonna go into dot emulation station. You're gonna to go to themes. You're gonna to go to one for all, all for one. So we're gonna go into game theme. We're gonna scroll down till we find the collection we're looking for. So this is a Nintendo DS game. So we're looking for the NDS collection uh, folder. So here that is here, NDS. Then you're gonna go into Hyperbat. Now we're gonna take this Pokemon Ranger we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it. It's that simple. All right, now I'm over here on Botticera. You'll get your theme folder over to your Botticera machine, however you want to do that. And then you're going to go to themes. You're going to find the one for all. 
Hyperbat folder. And then you're gonna go into game theme. You're gonna search for the collection. For me, it's Nintendo DS. You're gonna go into the Hyperbat folder. And when you see default, you know to stop. So, and then you would paste your theme folder here. So that was just how to do that on Botticera and how to do it on Retrobat. Now, once you have moved your game theme over to the correct folder and it's named correctly, you're done. We're gonna look for Nintendo DS. So there's Nintendo DS there. We're gonna go ahead and click into here. Here are some of the themes that I was telling you about that I've worked on. I haven't worked on all of them, so you know we're still a work in progress. But look at that. Come on, you can't tell me that's not sick. And then that was before I learned how to use the boom animations. So there's the animations there. And I'll show you a few more because I worked on them and I worked hard on them. Look at these, they're so cool. And look at that. There's a Pokemon Ranger one that I worked on last night. And boom, look at that. So as you can see, it worked perfectly fine. As you saw, I made this theme and it looks great. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments section below. If you like what you saw, give the video a like. If you really like what you saw, subscribe, come on. Man, this new theme editor is really awesome. And I can't wait to see all of you guys' additions. If you join that Discord that I leave in the description below, you can share your work with everybody else. And then you can be like me. And you can be like this guy. This guy is going crazy. I mean, he has like 500 of them. This has been Kev Obato, and I'm going to catch you in the next video.